Hey, what's going on, guys? Anthony's back again. We're gonna bring you some more Black Ops 3 gameplay, and I'm playing Black Ops 3 because I wanted to take a break from the Bioshock 1 multiplayer series. I'll pick that back up tomorrow, but you know what? When you do four or five parts uh, in a row, you gotta switch it up to something else. But I've got some good news. Gears of War 4 has been preloaded along with Battlefield 1, so expect walkthroughs of, that, of both of those games when they come out. I'd like to finish Bioshock 1 before uh, that comes out, which I think I will if I keep doing one part a day chugging through it and take a break every four or five days but you know what um i think i'm just gonna switch through gears of war 4 and battlefield 1 multiplayer and campaign when i do that just because you know what it looks fun and uh, i'd like to record both of those games i'm gonna die okay thanks dude for saving my ass okay oh shit oh shit okay come on come on no okay there we go run 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 come on come on huh 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 See if anybody followed me. See if anybody took the bait. Yep, he took the bait. And uh, he, he murked me. Okay, you know, we did all right there. Four and one. Sorry I started the recording a little bit late into the match, but... Whatever, did my texture just not load on my gun last time? That was weird. Okay. So who's going to watch the presidential debate tonight? I don't know if I will. I might, if I'm bored enough. But you know what? I mean, I like politics. I mean, it, it's kind of... It's, it's, it's all right. But it's kind of boring sometimes. You know how it is. Ah, shit. Come on. Six and two. Damn. That's how I might watch the debate. The debate. I'm, not a, I'm not really a big fan of Donald Trump, but man, the stuff he says is fucking comedy gold sometimes. I started my business with a small loan of a million dollars. That was... That made me laugh for like 15 minutes straight. But, uh... I, was, I, I just get all my news from Twitter. And apparently, Mark Cuban's gonna be in the audience. If, if any billionaire runs for president, it's gotta be Mark Cuban. Because, uh, Mark Cuban's a really cool dude. He owns the fucking Dallas Mavericks. Self-made billionaire. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, God damn it. God damn it, Anthony. You read one YouTube comment and you think you're a fucking Barack Obama. Okay, let's see who's over here. Uh, okay, that's not, that's a good guy. Okay, let's mark this guy. Okay, let's, uh. Okay, let's pull out the scythe. Please don't die. All right. I'm getting shot from behind. Yep, I knew it was coming. I knew it was fucking coming. Okay. Back to the game. Uh, but I, I don't know how far I'm in Bioshock. I feel like I'm getting close to the end of Bioshock 1. Uh, it's a really fun game. And uh, I think I'm like part 12 right now. Um, but part 3, I don't know how many. Somebody said it was a 20 to 25 hour game. And I think I'm blazing through it, so I don't know. Uh, I mean, I might not be. I don't know. It depends. But, uh... Hopefully I'll have that done by the time Battlefield 1 and Gears 4 come out, because I think they come out on the same day. I'm probably going to focus more on the, like, story stuff on Gears 4, because I think that's a bigger story-heavy game than Battlefield 1, believe it or not. Even though they're both just shooters, and you just fight through the hordes and stuff, but it's still fun. I'd like to see where the Gears story goes. I mean, I know where the Battlefield 1 story is going to go. It's just like, oh shit, if I get quick scoped, it's just going to be like, clear an area, fight guys. I'm hoping it'll be like the Call of Duty 2 campaign, which... To me, I like that game, but I think the best COD stories will always be Black Ops 1. And, fuck, Black Ops 1 had a phenomenal story. Um, Black Ops 2 had a pretty good story. I like Black Ops 2 story a lot. Black Ops 3 story, I played, like, half the campaign. I didn't I didn't grasp it. I just didn't know what was going on. So I was like, all right, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not playing the campaign. But it has nothing to do with the rest of the other games. Which, the other two Black Ops stories were phenomenal. Like, Raul Menendez and... Uh, Dragovich or whatever his name was. I don't really... I don't know. That game was just fun. Fuck! Alright, I'm dead. It brought back Reznov and... God, memories. I'm actually in the pro process of, uh... Going back on Black Ops 1 and beating the game on Veteran. Because I beat all... Like, before I was getting ready for my Xbox One. Like, when I was just waiting and I had nothing to play. I went back and beat, uh... Most of the CODs on Veteran difficulty and got all the intel and stuff. I did with, uh... MW2 COD 4, which I actually perfected. Getting Mile High Club, fuck you, whoever put Mile High Club in the game. Uh, did MW3, got all, beat it on Veteran, got all the uh, intel. Did it with Black Ops 2, which was actually really fun. And uh, I think that's it. I might have, no, I didn't do it. Oh, I did do it with Advanced Warfare. I did it with Advanced Warfare on 360 and the 1. Because I got it for free on the 1 for some reason, but, eh, whatever. But uh, Infinite Warfare, I don't know. I mean, it does have Game of Thrones star Kid Harrington in it, but... I just, I'm not buying that game at 60 bucks, or 80 bucks, because I'm gonna have to, if I buy an Infinite Warfare, I'm getting the fucking COD 4 edition, but I'm gonna wait for that to go down, just because, you know, I, I like it, and I can't wait till somehow they fuck up COD 4, 
and I'm gonna be really mad. But you know what? Whatever. Uh, okay, this match is winding down. There's only about 20 or 18 more kills left. Uh, come on, come on. Okay, let's mark this guy. There we go. This KN is so OP, dude. It really is. Okay, oh, somebody, is there somebody in here? Come on, sangre por sangre. Somebody's about to die. I don't know, that's one of my favorite Gus Fring quotes. Whenever he's talking, when he's talking to Hector. Sangre por sangre. God, Breaking Bad's a great show. To be honest, though, Breaking Bad, it's like, I don't know if it's in my top three. Like, my top three shows right now. Right now, Game of Thrones number one, leading the pile. They're leading the, leading it, because Game of Thrones will always probably be my favorite show. Just medieval and... God, that's such a great show. It took home 13 Emmys for one episode. Uh, Mr. Robot and then Walking Dead. Mr. Robot and Walking Dead are kind of tied, just because I like them both. Like, I like Walking Dead just because I liked it. I've, like, I don't read the comic books. I read, like, somebody that reviews them. And uh, that, that's pretty cool. Sometimes I'll read the issues online if I really want to read the issue. But uh, I just want to see where they go with Walking Dead and see how they adapt the shit to TV. And Mr. Robot's just phenomenal. And Rami Malek, my boy, got... Uh, Best lead actor, which I'm, I was fucking pumped for. I wanted Kit Haring didn't get it, but you know what? Rami Malek was a uh, he was he was up there. I, if anybody, if Kit Haring didn't win, Rami Malek should have definitely took it home. But we won. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. We led the team to victory, 26 and 11. Not too bad. Uh, led the team. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace. Let's watch this final kill cam. Ow, my voice is going. Damn. Ooh, fat stack.